Hey guys, how's it going? It's Up Down Jesse here, and today I am doing another movie review. This is also pre recorded, so I don't know how the last movie review went. And I'm going to review a movie I saw as a kid that was an anime that I liked, and I have it right here. And it is Yu Gi Oh! the movie, the one the one where Yu Gi Oh! and Kaiba face each other, which had some came cameos in it that I liked. One with the dinosaur kid. I don't know, really know the characters. There's one with that Weevil. I'm not sure his name is Weevil or something. There was also uh, Mai, that blonde-haired girl, and there were a lot of great, there was a lot of great stuff in this movie, even though it did get bad ratings and was considered the second most hated animated movie of the year it was made, along with Happily Never After Here, but I'll review that in a, another episode in the near future. And basically, I personally like this movie, even, and I saw it a little bit, a little bit, and I saw it a little bit after, again, years after. And before I think it was like uh, 10 or 11 when I saw this movie when it came out, I actually forgot when it came out. And, I heard, and I'm pretty sure it was hated because of the stuff that wasn't suited for children that scared people, that could have scared them. Like uh, in one scene I saw with the character known as Sphinx Talela, which is a character with a lion body and a woman's head. And there was a part where her she got more grisly and hor horrifying with her mouth growing wide like, uh, let's say, Mafia Rat Smile or something like that. If you don't know what that is, it's basically uh, like with a knife thing. Cut here, cut here, let back to the movie. I, I actually forgot what ratings it got, but I personally liked it. It's pretty good. It's, it's good for those older fans of Yu-Gi-Oh, to be honest with you. Because I did hear that some of the stuff that critics and audience hated that were disturbing with some of the disturbing scenes, like, say, Anubis and that kind of thing. And uh, this little furball, I think, was Karibo, that acted more menacing, and some other menacing characters that probably scared little kids. But I personally like the movie, and if you and if people don't like it, then boo-hoo for them. But, yeah. And I... And I personally like this movie, and thanks to this goddamn movie, I'm getting back into Yu-Gi-Oh! I know, it's like, Jesse, that stuff's for kids. Yeah, well, some adults collect them too, and I actually, uh, one day went on a shopping spree and bought some Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff. Yeah, and I actually got some rare cards over there, over there, there, especially those two bins, and I actually remember the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie with that golden thing there. You probably can't see it, but it's right there under that gun poster, what I'm pointing at. That thing right there that actually has some rare cards in it. And I actually found it at the old house behind my desk. And the poster fell again. I'm not going... I, I'm a, that's funny. Ah, that was funny. This gun post I had fell down last night. Yeah. So, back to the movie. Movie. Squirrel. Yeah. And basically, thanks to, thanks to that box I found, I found this movie and I watched it. And thanks to that, that movie, I found the anime on iTunes and I bought some episodes and I'm watching them. And thanks to them, I bought the cards again. And, and now I'm getting back into this thing. And I'm acting like it's a problem, but... To be honest, it really isn't, but hey, what can you do? So I hope you guys enjoy, enjoy this movie review, especially with this funny little blooper that was unexpected. And if you want to see me, uh, want to see me review to a movie that that I probably didn't watch, but you recommend that I watch, put in the comment section below, and I'll probably watch it. And if I already watch it, I'll do a movie review on it. And this is up down Jesse saying goodbye.